Hey, Frey, talking about Tian, Tian, Tian. Is it Tian? Because it's not Tai in, but it's Tian. Anyway, talking about this uh, platform area. That is kind of a critique on its own, is that I don't really know what to call this location up here, like behind the forward building. I kind of wish that, because like it's not train station, you can say, oh, it's the building in front of train station, but it's not really a building, it's more like a platform, the center island, I guess you could say center island, I guess you could say that. I was just thinking maybe you could use those uh, uh, shrines from Sujin and put one up on top of a rock or something, like relatively visible. Just so people go, oh, it's Shrine, they're on top of Shrine, like, go to Shrine, or defend from Shrine, or something like that. Uh, anyway, I was talking, I was going to be talking about uh, the NG bots who end up setting up their sentry guns right here. Because uh, what seems to be the scenario, what happens on Expert Wave 2, I mean specifically, is that a boss will go this way, and then a boss goes this way, or a boss goes this way, and then a boss goes this way. Uh, and then I remember a couple um, rounds because we played Expert Wave 2 several times in a row, probably like nine times in a row. So I got pretty good at like memorizing how the robots float at least. Uh, so we'd kill the one uh, uh, giant and his medic as before they even went down this road. Um, and then we turn our focus on the carriers, probably another boss and like a bunch of heavies that were going down this direction along the winding road. Uh, and then what would happen often is I'd be like reloading my rocket launcher or, or something and then I just kind of naturally walk here or something or I turn around and I'm like face to face with a sentry gun, an engineer and sentry gun encampment. And I guess my feeling is that I have to pull away so hard from the carrier to try to deal with him and also I can't even use this route as like a flank route to deal with the sentry gun because the sentry gun will hit you from that distance you can't even like get up this route and i guess using this as a route i never like this doorway i mean using this as like a flank route to try to outrange the sentry gun i'm not sure if you can outrange it from here and i'm not even sure if this is like a viable option to try to take down that sentry gun i guess that could be a thing you could put like a little barrier or like a rock like poking out of the side or something out of here like is there any rocks on this side no maybe a tree i was just thinking like a rock like kind of poking out but i guess it'd look kind of weird poking out of like a wall but some sort of like little thing just so that you could go well I'll use this route as you know the way that i take down that sentry but um I think a better position for that sort of blockade would be like right here, potentially have one of these sorts of rocks in this position, just so that when you're walking backwards, you can actually use this as a flank route to take down sentry guns who sit up there. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but this route here that leads into this building, which is cool, um, unfortunately I don't think I've ever seen anybody, and I've certainly not used this bridge route. Uh, I'm trying to think if I ever have, no, not, maybe to just like quickly run this way and then to like take down a tank or something, but I've never used this actual uh, bridge, but I would assume that this is kind of supposed to be a way to take down the sentry guns who sit up here because standing right up here never really feels like a good position to attack or hide from robots because you're so like exposed. So I guess I do kind of wish that there was like a rock here because not only would this upper route become a little bit safer because you can kind of reload and then poke your head out and maybe make a run for the other side, but it would also be just naturally safer to approach this bridge route because you can use that as cover uh, while taking down the sentry guns there. Um, and I guess you could say, and I guess you'd be fair to say that if we just had like better callouts saying, oh, the engineer has set up over there, then someone could just go over there and deal with it. Because I was looking at the night crew uh, demo recordings, how they beat the wave, and they did seem to have like a dedicated demo man who, as soon as the ng-bot set up, like he would drop whatever he was doing and just go deal with that sentry gun. 
and then return to the main group. Even like if he was on the carrier and he's just like, nope, go kill the sentry gun. And I guess that's interesting, and I guess that's a strategy, especially for like expert, right, that the map was, or the mission was. Um, I don't know, I guess I just kind of wish it was a bit naturally easier to approach that problem, just because it really seems like you can't really flank the sentry gun in this position because this isn't like a non-option because you can't even approach it and then this also kind of feels like a non-option you just feel like i have to kind of outrange the sentry but as a demo man that's hard it's like once the sentry set up in this position you can never adequately feel like you're able to take it down i guess that's the critique um so yeah i think having like a rock in this position would help a lot and then potentially uh, this is like a prop and then this is a prop. Maybe remove this prop, move this in a little bit into the wall, or just merge this rock more in with this one, just like move it inwards, just so that uh, players can get to this ramp a little bit easier, if you know what I mean. Like if this rock was moved inwards a little bit, they'd be able to like curve in a sharper turn up to this upper path and just like use this path more as cover and stuff. See, I think that would be pretty good, because I I would like to experience gameplay... Uh, sorry, I got distracted. Um, up in this area more, but we never really did. And I think if it was a bit safer, especially walking down this way, I don't know, you're so exposed to the typically heavies that are on that route. Yeah, I feel like that would make me feel better about that. Um, and I don't know if I said it already, I tried recording this like five times but this ammo pack and stuff this large ammo pack i don't think i ever noticed that was there just because when i was dealing with the carrier i never look far enough you might just want to like maybe keep the health where it is but move the large ammo just right there just so we go oh oh or something i don't know up to you uh but yeah yeah, I don't know. That kind of blends in with the wall, I think. I just don't notice it or something. Hmm. Yeah, that's feedback, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is like the, the part I feel most strongly about just because as soon as the engineer sets his sentry gun up there and you can't adequately try to attempt to deal with it and, and like the idea of going around this way so that you can do what exactly? wander around this side road which is crawling with robots and sort of edge this entry gun like that's not an option oh my god i almost died <sighs> uh yeah so i don't know i feel like if you just made it a little bit safer to approach at least this flanking route potentially just move these rocks completely just so you can like completely jump up on top but that's like stylish yeah and then maybe add the shrine on top because i think calling this island the shrine location would help with call outs too. Alright, thanks for watching.